Hey guys, welcome to the 34th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the open file dialog. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. Now we can um, add an open file dialog. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go over to the toolbox and drag an open file dialog over to your form. Or we can create it using code, which is what I usually do. So we can just double click on this button right here and create a new instance of an open file dialog. Then we're going to want to give a name to our open file dialog. I'm just going to call it OFD for open file dialog. Then just set it equal to a new open file dialog. Now basically an open file dialog is something that will allow the user to browse through the files on their computer and open a file. And then you can do something with that file, but we're not going to get into that in this tutorial. So in order to display the open file dialog to the user, you're just going to want to call the show dialog method. So it's going to want to do OFD.showDialog, and this will then display the dialog to the user. So now when we click this button, we should be displayed with an open file dialog. And yep, now we can browse through the files on our computer and open a file. But we haven't coded for it to do anything with that file yet. So in order to run a quick check, in order to make sure that the user um, actually opened the file, they didn't just like exit out of the open file dialog, we're going to create an if statement here and say if the open file dialog dot show dialog equals dialog result dot ok, then we can do something with that. And basically right here, this is just an enumeration and it will check to see if the um, user actually opened the file. And if they didn't, then the dialog result will be something other than OK. But if they actually open a file, then the dialog result will be OK. And we can then do something with this. But right now, we're just going to make sure that this code works right here. And we're just going to have a message box be displayed if the user actually opened the file. So here we display the dialog. And if they click the exit button, we shouldn't get a message box. If they click cancel, we also shouldn't get a message box. But if we open a file, we should get a message box. Yep. In order to um, get the path of the file which the user opened, we're going to want to use the uh, file name property. So we're just going to do OFD.FileName. And this will get the path to the file that the user opened. So we're just going to go ahead and open this file right here. And it should now give us a path to this file. So we should get the C drive, users, slash atom, slash desktop, and then the file name. And then the path to the file. If you wanted to get only the name of the file, we could use the safe file name um, property. And this will just get the name of the uh, file itself. So instead of getting the uh, path to the file, we'll just get this like 4D, 5, 3, whatever right here. Yep. Now you can make it so that users can only open um, files with certain, certain extensions. So in order to do that, we're just going to want to do the open file dialog name instance dot filter and then set that equal to a string. And basically first, you're just going to want to give a description of the um, type of file that a user can only open. So if we only wanted to make a user be able to open um, a PNG file, then we're just going to want to type, I guess here, PNG image. And then following that, we're just going to want to type a uh, straight up and down line. And then we're going to want to type a star and a dot, and then the file extension. And since we only want users to be able to open PNG images, we're just going to type .png. So now if we debug here, open up the file dialog, as you can see right here, we can only open up um, images that have a .png extension. And we have the description of the uh, file extension right here. You can add multiple ones. Say you wanted to do also like, um, I don't know, a BIK. Then we would just do another line, and then dot bik. 
now we open this up and now we have a choice we can either do PNG or BIK you can also give a title to your the name of your file dialog box so if we wanted to do like change the title of the dialog box to equal like open image and you can do that go up here click this button now it says open image up here instead of just open like it said before um, so that's pretty much it that's pretty much all there is on open file dialogs um, there are a few other properties that you can browse through here on your own like I don't, I don't know show help I guess I don't know. but yeah there are a whole bunch of other properties but that's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial so see you guys